We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is November 28th and it is Saturday. And last night was probably my biggest healing day on my injury and yesterday was the very first day that I was massaging that injury out. Um, what I did was I took a tennis ball and we've been driving like eight hours a day and I would put it on my back between my back and the chair and I would kind of just massage it the entire time. And this morning was profound, the amount of results I got from healing my injury compared to every other day when I iced it or whatever. I'm going to do that all again today, and within no time, I believe this stuff's going to go away. My knee is a little messed up too. I'm going to start massaging my knee and watch what happens. And also, what have we been doing, babe? We've been juice fasting, mm -hmm. feasting. What's, what day is it? Today is day five of juice feasting. Wow. Doesn't even seem like it. No. It's easy when you do it together, isn't it? It is, my love. And we wanted to show you all the juice we just made this morning in the hotel room with the Haram Slow Juicer. It's a slow juicer, but it's the quickest juicer out there. And we just produce all this juice in like, I don't know, how long did that even take us? Like 40 minutes maybe to do everything? Yeah. And we, there was more than this. We already drank a load. We, we already drank a lot of green juice. Um, and then... Yeah, we've got green juice and apple beet, zucchini juice, and what was this? This was like carrot, fennel, celery or something. So we're gonna Romaine take, lettuce. And we're going to take all this with us on the road today so that we've got yummy, nutritious juice all the way along the road for the next 10 hours or however long we're driving for. So it works, you know, you can juice feast on the road. Um, and tomorrow, in case you guys don't know, Sunday the 29th of November is International Juice Feasting Day. Dave, the raw truck driver, has called for it to be International Juice Feasting Day. Um, I don't really know the best website to tell you to go to to look up stuff about that. I just forget. But just put in like Dave, the raw truck driver, juice feasting or something and I'm sure you'll find stuff about it online. Basically, he just wanted everyone to juice feast tomorrow. If you don't know his story, he is a truck driver here in the US and he went raw some a hundred and something days ago and he started to juice feast and it's amazing the um, turnaround he's seen already. He's reversed type 2 diabetes, he's lost like a hundred and something pounds already and he's juice feasting on the road. Just like us, and a uh, hundred and something days now he's been doing it. So he wanted to call for an international day of juice feasting so everyone can join in. And especially he wanted to honour the work of Gabriel Cousins. I guess maybe he read Gabriel's Cure for Diabetes book or something. And um, so yeah, <laughs> we can all honour Gabriel tomorrow, drink lots of low glycemic juices and... I would like to honour David Rain as well for the Juice Feasting program. You can go to juicefeasting.com, see about that. And John Rose, he's like the granddaddy of juice feasting. I don't know how to send you to look at stuff about John Rose, but I'm sure you'll find him somewhere. So yeah, juice feasting tomorrow, everyone, if you're up for it. And I'd like to honour the beautiful Angela Stokes Monarch who created the Juice Feasters Handbook. Ooh. Who did this for 92 days who was the model for bringing the beauty who lost all that weight that brought juice feasting to the popularity of millions of people. Ooh la la. It was actually this time, three years ago, that I was juice feasting for 92 days down in Costa Rica. It's like a little replay. So we're on day five already? What happened? It seemed like, it seemed like I've been juice feasting for like a day or something. It just went... Right it's easy when we're doing it together. It is. So, how long are we going to go for, do you think? I don't know. See what happens. Do we, so, I guess we have to do it tomorrow because of the day of the truck driver. Yeah. And then we'll just see what happens. You know what I'm loving? This is probably one of the most powerful foods on the planet. If I could live off of one food, this probably has everything you need. I've been eating it every single day. Should we show them, baby? <laughs> Royal Jelly. From straight from Miss Queen Bee. Unbelievable. So powerful. Wow. 
every single day. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, yesterday we did some pineapple juice, which was incredible. It's just it was a little bit too much, wasn't it? Yeah, my the side of my mouth kind of cracked from drinking pineapple juice. When I was juice feasting for 92 days, I would drink pineapple juice until my lips bled. <laughs> because I just love pineapple juice. I just love pineapple so much. But I can't handle much of it, especially when it's juiced. So no pineapple today. I've been kind of going to town on the bee pollen also. We're going to go to Whole Foods and get a thing of bee pollen. Royal Jelly Bee Pollen. I'm doing a lot of bee products. Now, we need your guys' help. Um, we need you to send love to, love. This, to that watermelon right there. <laughs> the watermelon got cracked. And it's going to go bad, and we couldn't do that. We have to do light sugar today because we did a little bit too much sugar yesterday, so we couldn't do the watermelon. So if you can send love to that and make sure it doesn't go rancid, that'd be great. I'd um, like some love for my knee as well, please. It's all kind of bruised and cut up. What is that from? A car accident. Do, 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 do. And no. please also send yummy vibes to reverse Mr. Monarch's car karma drama. Okay, everybody. There is no car karma drama. It is gone. I'm taking that off of my record. It's just goodbye. It's not in existence. We're going back to California. We're going to LA. We're going to do this immigration interview and we're going to have a good time. Ow. There is no karma. Karma. Car karma. And there never was. Alright. Alright. So, here we got Angela Stokes Monarch. With her $80 headband. <laughs> and Matt Monarch. Excited to juice feast even more. Eat royal jelly. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you again at the Raw Food World.